Hi and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the algebraic equations template which is a smart notebook file which is designed to minimize the amount of time it'll take you to write up algebraic equations using smart notebook software. You can download the template here and when you have downloaded it it'll look like this. As you can see there's four slides in the template. The first is a slide where you can just click a few times to insert your own heading and click a few times on the text below that to insert your intro or instructions. The second slide is a bright yellow slide which says the end and the third and fourth slides are your template slides. Essentially you're going to copy, make a copy of one of these whichever one you choose and then put the copy on top of this yellow slide. You'll have to choose which one of these two template slides you'd prefer. The first one has um, size 72 font and the second one has size 37 font. Now the first one is better for questions which have maybe one set of parentheses or don't even have any parentheses. Kind of like this. As you can see this simple equation with one set of parentheses on each side of the equal sign fits in nicely with that first template and you can see it begins to be solved there we'll go through that later and this fourth slide has like I said size 37 font it's a bit smaller this is more appropriate for equations like this as you can see we've got two sets of parentheses on either side of the equal sign and other than that the templates are identical so when you've chosen your template and we'll choose this one you just make a clone of that template so right click on the slide and click clone page or the shortcut control D so you've made an exact copy these two three and four are now exactly the same okay and then drag the copy you made with your mouse up on top of that yellow slide okay and that means you can start putting your information into this and there'll be a blank copy available underneath if you want to make another question when you're done okay so let's show you how you actually put in some some data to this basically it's designed so you just type in your your information and it's set up so either side of the equal sign they're all separate objects and it makes it easy as possible for you to type in your equations with the minimum amount of clicks all right let's have a practice one okay so I've typed in this uh, this equation ready to be solved now it's up to you the way you use it but I've put this text and this line underneath each step in the equation so you can choose to use them or not generally I don't after the first step so I'll simply click and delete that and my second step I generally type in the same as the first and then I'll actually use my pen tool to show the students right we're going to multiply 4 and 2 8 and we're going to multiply 4 and 5 and over this side and I'll go back and choose my pointer tool the select tool now as you can see the screen shade is on here so when you're actually showing it to the kids you're going to be revealing it one step at a time okay and there's the first step now I'm not going to need the text here again or the line so I'll delete them and I'm going to come to what they're for in a minute so I'll just put in the next step of the equation now and this brings me to why I've got text and the line here the line is if we're going to be using some division and we're not going to divide each side by anything in this step what I'll do is I'll say minus 3a okay and pop that right under there then I'll just make a duplicate of that so you can either click on it and press ctrl D or right click 
and clone I prefer just to use my keyboard but I'll show you this one as well and then drag that over here so the kids get a nice visual of right we're subtracting 3a from both sides of the equation okay then we scroll down and again I've got space for you to type in another step here so just type in the next step of the equation okay there's the next step uh, this time again I won't use the the line but I'm gonna say plus 20 and I'll drag that there and clone it I'm just gonna press Control D and pop it here okay once again I'll drag my screen shade down and that reveals the next step of the equation you simply type it in and this brings me to using the actual line okay I'm going to say divide each side by five here so we'll put just five and I'll drag this line here so we can see right we're dividing 5a by 5 then I'll simply select both of those items and clone them by pressing Control D and then dragging them over to this side too okay and then I'll scroll down and simply type in that A equals 2 and it's 4 fifths so I might actually duplicate this I might duplicate this too make a clone of it and type 4 enter 5 and underline that 4 and then just make this a bit smaller and we're basically finished now we've finished the equation all that's left is to just delete whatever is below here because I've put in these lines in case you've got more steps for your equation so whatever steps you you, you don't use just delete that bring your screen shade back up to the top And there's your equation finished for your students. Now you can discuss it in class and reveal one step at a time what you're doing with the equation. Okay, you can discuss that, reveal, you know, the next stage, what are we going to do here? And just reveal, yep, we're going to, that's one way of solving it. Um, you know, and you, I mean, you can discuss with your kids the various ways of solving these. Um, but that's, that's it that's basically designed to minimize the effort required on your behalf to actually create this and create multiple equations because if you want to do another one just go down here and choose right is it um, one that's best suited to this first uh, this slide here or is it one best suited to the slide with the smaller font make a copy okay or a clone and drag that clone up as your next question. Okay, hope you found this helpful and I hope it's useful in the classroom. Thank you.